Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I am a Scottish trucker, my name is Jordan. Firstly, excuse the fact that I have a DHL top on, it just happened to be the one that I picked out my wardrobe this morning. I hope everyone is well. I would like to thank everybody that has commented, messaged, inboxed me on all forms of social media asking when I'll be taking a return to YouTube. And I feel like now is kind of a good time. Possibly a goodbye as well. Um, so let's get into it then. So last point, I was driving for Pollock Scott Trans, based in Bafke. I am no longer an employee of Pollock Scott Trans. I was not fired, as someone said. Apparently, I was fired. Would love to know why. Um, I took took the decision to leave um, as I wanted to better myself and I wanted to get out there and my original goal from leaving Pollock was to do European transport. Always wanted to do it, um, get it off the bucket list while I'm still still young. That hasn't worked out <laughs> and I'll tell you why. But first I'll go over Pollock. So. A lot of people have a misconception about Pollock um, for the reason that not very good paying, constantly hitting bridges. Oh, someone just had a blowout in front of me. Oof! Oof! Wow! I wish I had the front facing camera on. Unfortunately, my GoPro is dead. I think I'm having the same problem as Didi and seem to be keep going through GoPro batteries. Well, I've gone through a GoPro battery. Anyway, so. Pollock is a great company to work for, especially if you're a new, newly qualified driver. They'll get you in, you can either do day shift, night shift, trunking, tramping, um, all, all level of categories um, to do with HDV driving, both class two and class one. I don't think they do tramping for class two, and I'm sure it's just multi drop for, for class two as well. But anyway, um, for... For that reason, they're a great company to work for. Yeah, the pay, you could argue the pay isn't great, but in your first couple of years of driving, I wouldn't be expecting mega money driving HCVs. It's experience you're after. It's what experience companies look for if you were to go and look for a new job. Um, not saying that you'd obviously be able to get wage rises at Pollock, etc. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not there any longer and I never asked. Um, but as for the facts, I loved it. Wagons, wagons are fair, between fairly new and new. Um, there's a couple of old Scania's floating about, but most of them are like 16, 17 plate onwards. Um, and the kit, I mean, they could do, honestly, I'm, I'm going to be completely unbiased about this, not being swayed at all. They could do with having a better spec, like trucks that have maybe got fridges as standard and at least the option of having an Anderson connector on the back if you should want to put your own inverter in, or trucks that have microwaves as standard. I'm a firm, firm believer in the fact that all trucks should have fridge. If you're a, a, a tramper, should have fridges and microwave as standard. I think it would stop a lot of lorries burning down as well when people try and put their own inverter in and get it wrong. Or put an inverter in that isn't strong enough for the microwave that they're trying to power in and causes it arcs. And anyway, that's that's my opinion. Obviously, I'm going to get someone that tells me, no, 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 I was a driver for 35 years. I never had a microwave. I cooked everything on the back of the truck. Yeah, that's great, mate. But if you have the option there to do it, why not? Anyway, so aside the fact, the money, I, I honestly couldn't complain. I was working five days a week. Um, Monday, I well, started off Sunday to Friday and then I met someone which didn't go, didn't go to plan. So I ended up moving to Monday to Friday and I was still making a fairly good living. Um, obviously, we've all got bills, etc. and stuff to pay. But for within my first two years of driving... Um, I wasn't complaining, I was still making money at the end of the week, parking was paid for me, didn't have to pay a single penny out, 
unless you know you get caught short in an accident and you have to pay for a motorway service parking um, but you get the money back so I don't understand what people gripe about Pollock for that as well and the work is clean you're not going into manky building sites and landfills and you know horrible it's mainly RDC work to be honest with you but the occasional bit of sort of more general haulage well it is gen- all general haulage but I'm sure you understand what I mean so I left there over a month ago and within my last week of leaving Pollock my father was taken into hospital um, he had a very very small bleep in the back of his brain and having only got my dad left, I mean, I don't have any other family apart from my father left now. It was a bit of a nerve-wracking time. So uh, the company that I was meant to, have going, to be going to, the European Transport, um, I basically said, sorry, I cannot take this job anymore. I want to stay at home until my dad's get is at least going to be a lot better um, I appreciate you know the fact that obviously the, the, the pandemic that we're in there's a lot of people out there that's going to maybe going to be unemployed etc and give the job to someone else so in hindsight that worked out actually really well um, so from there I what did I do ah, my dad came out of hospital after a week I thought it was going to be in longer, but no, it was a very, very small bloke and blood vessel in the back of his brain, but the DVLA have still decided it's a good idea to take his license off him for six months, even though the medication that he was on, that people are usually on after they've had their bleed in the brain, is for a month, he was off it, the medication whilst he was in hospital. But, good on the DVLA for doing what they what they need to do, especially during this, this pandemic that we're in. So, from there, I then went and did a week. I was meant to have done a week, scratch that. I was actually meant to be on a holiday for a week. Um, obviously, leaving Pollock, getting my, my last week, and then your week in Lou, or lie, however you want to pronounce it. And then holiday pay as well, because I hadn't taken any holidays in the time I'd worked there. I was like, oh, I'm in a pretty good position. I'm starting this net this European job that I thought I was going to be doing but instead I went to go and work for an uh, agency for a week got subbed out as a tramper and yeah did a week on a DAF XF 530 super space cab I don't know if that's the right terminology or not um, really underpowered for a DAF I didn't think they were all that quick, like climbing hills, especially fully laden. I didn't think dafts were, were that slow, but, you know. Um, I wasn't the world's biggest fan of a daft. And I still am, even though I'm now driving one, and my new truck's meant to be another daft. But a super... A space cab. Not the super space, the space cab. That's my neck. So, on my week working away, I'm like, uh-oh. My dad's going to be getting out of hospital this week. He, he doesn't want me around as, as much. He says he's doing fine. He's been a stubborn type dad. So you know what? I'm going to go and look for a job that I want to do. Now, I'm a firm believer in the haulage industry. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And if you know the right people, you're quits in. Because it's all good going on in deep gum tree and, you know, all these job sites but actually knowing people in the industry that may be in a high position that can point you towards companies that may not potentially be hiring online but may be looking for drivers. Um, I got directed to where I'm working now. Now, I'm not going to give out company names. I'm going to tell you that this guy is a very, very small operator. He has three trucks and he's based in Kettering. That's all you're getting to know. Um, I consider myself quite a people person, so I was, my overall goal in life was to maybe have my own truck, or a couple of trucks, and be an owner operator. So I was already speaking to companies, like, asking about, you know, potential subby work types, etc, and I ran across 
now a very good friend, who works for the gentleman that owns this company, and we got Chan, had a telephone interview, because it would be irresponsible to drive all the way down to Kettering to have an interview, so we had the telephone interview, sent all of all over my documents and stuff that I, uh, I needed, and two weeks later a truck was delivered to my house. I la- somehow landed to, to perfectly land into an amazing job. I don't know how I've done it, but I have. <laughs> um, oh, hello. Um, the basis of this job is it's just, again, general haulage. Um, it's a lot of the same work that we're doing that's repeated. So as for like a vlog type concept, I don't really think I'd have much of a chance vlogging because it's mostly the same journey over and over again. Uh, collecting in Livingston and down to Lutterworth, reloading out of Kettering and back up to Glasgow. It's the same thing over and over again. So from that respect, it's not exactly very... It'd be very repetitive. And I found when I was doing Preston a lot with Pollock, my views, people who've seen Preston the title, like, yeah, that's the same thing you done last week. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not going to submit you guys to that. So for that reason, I'm sort of, I suppose, kind of calling it quits with YouTube, um, given the fact that I'm sort of doing doing my own, I'm living in a mommy bubble and kind of doing the same thing over and over again, and I'm not one to make content for the sake of content to collect, to collect a paycheck. It just doesn't work that way for me. Um, as most of you probably now follow me and know I'm on TikTok and it's been a massive confidence boost for me given the fact that I was a very shy and tim- timid person to start with and now I seem to have grown into a little bit more confident in myself. Um, it's, it's been pointed out a fair, fair few times that my editing is crap and I know it is because I was trying to get daily videos out, so I was doing a 13, 15 hour shift, and then the next five hours was downloading everything from the GoPro onto the laptop and from my phone onto the laptop, and then trying to make a video out of it to then put it online, and because I bought a slightly cheaper laptop, I, uh, I couldn't really read really watch back what I was doing, so I made mistakes. I'm not some professional like um, Luke or Kev or you know any of the road legends that, that really had the time to sit and you know edit my videos perfectly you know I, I was just a truck driver attempting to be a YouTuber and I mean it, it did backfired fairly well so for that reason you know I just sort of gave up and after negative comments of people were trying to sleep me off from my size, my looks, my editing abilities, etc. Like, what's the point? What is honestly the point? Um, so, so yeah, um, for that reason, I'm kind of calling it a, kind of calling it a quits with the YouTube front. I mean, don't get me wrong, there maybe is a, a chance I just passed Mr. Smooth. Roy Smooth. Um, yeah, there's maybe a chance further down the line to uh, to maybe own my own haulage company, but for what I'm doing now and for what I'm getting paid for doing now, nah, you're all right. Um, I'll stick to, to collecting a fairly healthy wage or a really good wage running up and down the road Monday to Friday. Because I'm only doing Monday to Friday now. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. I hope you guys have, have listened and appreciated everything I've said. Um, yeah, you can follow me on, on the socials. Facebook, the Scottish Trucker. Uh, Instagram, the Scottish Trucker. Uh, TikTok, the Scottish Trucker as well. Um, I do have jumpers and stuff out. My original plan was I was meant to be putting someone through his Class 1 licence. And... He's ended up leaving the job that he was doing and now f- 
funding himself through his class like one license he's just trying to get him out of that rut of um, yeah um, working for a company that didn't appreciate him but anyway right I've rambled on enough thank you everyone for watching take care and uh, you never know in a couple of weeks time I might put up another video